Inside Science. In many diseases or other injuries to the body, the stiffness of the tissues changes markedly. And also, if you're trying to address a condition with therapy, uh, either chemical or radioactive, you often want to know as soon as possible, is this helping or do I have to switch regimens? And there's been a fair amount of work by ourselves and other groups showing that, yes indeed, elastography can sometimes tell you earlier than anything else whether the therapy is working. One thing that we're very excited about that isn't quite a clinical application yet, but could be soon, is applying elastography to the brain. You said in elastography, you vibrate the tissues of interest. So in the case of the brain, we have a pillow and we vibrate. And those vibrations propagate through the brain or whatever part of the body we're interested in. There is one kind of tumor, meningiomas, that's a benign tumor that can get quite large, large enough that it actually presses on the surrounding brain tissue. And chatting with the neurosurgeons, they said, you know, these, are, these meningiomas are kind of funny. Sometimes when we open up the skull, they're very soft and we can take them out very easily, but they range all the way to rock hard and it takes us hours and hours of very carefully chiseling them out, if you will. And it could be anywhere in between. We have no idea what we're gonna face. And these are also quite large tumors. And so we said, you know, hey, large object, stiffness all the way from very soft to very hard, that's right up our alley. So we did some work starting several years ago and we've got some publications showing that, yeah, in fact, with MR elastography, we can tell in advance what the stiffness of the tumor is likely to be and give them that advanced information. Inside Science. If you enjoyed this edition, follow us on the web and social media. Powered by the American Institute of Physics and a coalition of underwriters.